Okay, hey everyone. Um, yeah, so every once in a while I just want to talk a little bit about uh, life in China. And I think a great thing to discuss right now, especially because it's so prominent in the news, is the COVID zero policy. So China is uh, basically uh, going after trying to reduce all in spread or infection to zero throughout the whole country. And um, they do this in, in a few different ways. The first is that everyone has a health code on their phone. And uh, this phone, this code either is um, green, orange, or red. And the green indicates you're okay, and they'll let you into like public places like malls or the metro. Uh, and red signifies that you've been very close to a COVID case or um, you've been exposed to one. And orange, you might've passed through an area that had a COVID case. And so if you do have a, a orange or red code, red would require you to quarantine uh, away from society. And orange would force you to basically go directly to a hospital to get a PCR code. Because if you have an orange code, they're not gonna let you in like any um, malls or any public places or possibly even your own uh, apartment before you get a test. Um, and I just, and then the second thing that they're doing is um, because of Omicron and it's so um, transmissible, uh, they've started doing regular PCR tests. So in Shenzhen at the moment, we need a PCR test every day. And um, in some places they don't require it, but in Shenzhen it's typically been, we need one every one to three days. And if we don't have a, a test negative result, uh, they won't let us on the metro or um, even into my warehouse or, or to my apartment building. So they're very strict here and that's kind of how they keep it under control. And I'm just gonna show you one of the testing booths that they have in our apartment complex now and give you a quick uh, overview of it. So yeah, as you can see, there's like a testing booth here and the first code up here is actually uh, people scan this code to um, basically say that they've been to a certain place. And then the next one is they, they scan a QR code to take their information. And then the final booth is at the end where they have uh, two doctors, or one doctor there actually, uh, giving PCR tests. So this type of line is seen kind of everywhere around Shenzhen nowadays. And I think all the residents can walk um, to a testing spot within 15 minutes, uh, generally. Okay, I'm gonna give a quick explanation of this code. So this is a QR code. And once you scan this, they basically trace where you are in China. And so if they have an infection, they can do contact tracing to find basically um, who was in a certain place that where there, an infection happened, and then they can go around the city and um, test those people. So this uh, code has just come out recently to, uh, some people might argue that it's too intrusive, but it helps to um, do all the contract tracing more effectively in China. And then this is the last part of the COVID policy. Basically, they don't let any delivery people in, so all of the food is stuck here, and you have to go outside your apartment complex to get it. But not only that, they installed this new device, you're gonna see, and you have to scan your health code in this, in this device for the doors to open. And so that's how they're not even letting you in unless you have like a 24-hour code. Okay, uh, that's it. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed the video and uh, learned a little bit about what's happening here in China. Uh, if you have any more questions or comments, leave them in the comment section and uh, see you next time.